Browns uh, back on the practice field out in Berea getting ready for Sunday's game at home against the New York Giants, uh, who are 0-2 on the year. Longtime Browns beat reporter Tony Grossi um, on what he expects to see from Deshaun Watson. He did play better, and it was not uh, – uh, it, w it was not a, a great environment, you know, the, uh, the, the humidity of the day, occasional rain on the road, a, a team he played against that was desperate to win, too. And as the coach uh, said numerous times after the game, uh, uh, he, he never blinked. Uh, he had some good plays early. He had some bad plays late. He also had his team, uh, his offense, uh, self-implode around him again, like, like against Dallas, only this time they persevered and won the game. So, uh, no, no I, thought, I thought it was improvement. With that, let's welcome in Mac Robinson from 92.3 The Fan. Mac, um, you know I've been a guy that thought Watson would be good, and i got to be honest, week one concerned me a lot. If I'd have seen this week one, I'd be like, yep, he's going to be back. We're going to be in pretty good shape. He's going to be – I'm still – Quite honestly, I'm not sure what to expect from Watson week to week. And, and I, it's not great, but that's kind of where I'm at with it. And, and Dave, that's totally fair. Like, I, I think that's the thing is that, you know, we hadn't seen him in the preseason at this point. And again, we hadn't seen him since he played in Baltimore last year, where, again, he did have a great second half of the year, but he didn't know what you were going to get from Deshaun Watson. And obviously, you know, week one, I think you put it very kindly, uh, it was abysmal to watch. And, you know, being in, you know, in the stadium to see that, it just, it didn't look good. And again, for, for Browns fans, you know, if there's anything that we know, it's bad quarterback play. <laughs> And we were used to seeing that quarterback play, and we saw that on we saw that against the Cowboys. But what I saw against the Jaguars, at least, was you know a more confident Deshaun Watson, somebody that was willing to you know just let it rip down the field, and you know again just somebody that felt more confident in what he was seeing on the field, and you know seeing the way that he was attacking the defense, obviously doing it both from the pocket and also going off script. You know, I thought that it was encouraging to see both. And like you said, you know, I, I think that it's week to week. You're not really sure what you're going to get from Deshaun. But I also do think that this is them slowly building that new offense. And I know Deshaun talked about it in his press conference earlier today of the fact that, look, this is their uh, against the Cowboys. It was their first live game action that they had all worked together with the new offensive staff and as an offense together. So, you know, getting a chance to see that and see them develop as the season goes along is something that I'm going to be watching. And I'm really going to be excited to see how it develops as it goes on this season. Yeah, again, my reaction was, Boy, that's kind of what I expected to see last week.